friends and welcome back to another vlog. It has been forever since I have vlogged. Um, yeah, it's been a really super long time. A lot has changed and gone on and I'm really not sure like how deep I'm gonna get into it in this video. I think in the title I probably said something about like, I moved, come clean with me, blah, 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 blah. And which is true, I did move. And there's circumstances that are going around why I moved and where I moved and what's going on with my move. But I don't know. I don't know how deep I want to get in this video. Um, there's probably like crap all over my face. I have not washed it yet. I, I think I brushed my hair. I'm not really sure. I did wash it yesterday, but somehow it already looks dirty, which is really frustrating. I don't have any makeup on, but I am... Um, yeah, I have a really busy day today. I have a lot of cleaning to do, so I thought that I would bring you guys along and you can hang out with me. And while I'm cleaning, I can kind of tell you some of the things that have been going on in my life, some of the changes that I've been experiencing, and some of the changes that are going to happen maybe soon. So I guess the first change is I moved. Um, I am not in a permanent place. Technically, I guess you could say that I'm homeless. I'm staying with a friend and he is being so gracious to let me stay here kind of indefinitely until I can get my own place. Um, the reason why I moved is because Anthony and I are separated. Um, yeah. That's, that's, I don't know, like I said, how much I'm gonna get into that, what all I'm gonna talk about with that, how deep I'm gonna go, but we're still friends. We still get along magnificently. Um, my arm is getting tired. Let me put you on my ring light. Okay, that's a little bit better. I told you I was gonna talk to you and that this was gonna be a clean with me slash life update. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all my shoes away as I'm talking to you. But so yeah, basically Anthony and I, I mean, we've been together for 15 years. We've been married for 14. And I think that our marriage has just reached a point. It's changed. You know what I mean? Like people change over time. We're still, you know, best friends. We're still married. We're not divorced yet, but that is in the realm of things. It is supposed to happen eventually. We're not really sure. Ooh, these are like super hella dirty. I need to go get a wipe. I'll be right back. So I don't really know how to break down like the dynamics of exactly what happened, but this has been something that has been going on for several months. This isn't like something that we've done, like it's not an impulsive decision that we were like, oh, I'm mad at you, like we're separating. It's something that we've been figuring out for a long time. And the goal was that I was going, that we were going to separate, but I was gonna still stay in the house until I had my own place. But it just, it was just tense and it was weird and it wasn't really working the way it needed to work. So it just, it worked out better for me to go ahead and move out. And like the kids know, the kids understand what's going on. I mean, the best that they can, they're 12 and 14 because Soraya had a birthday um, this week, well last week, uh, she turned 14 and on the 11th and um, I mean, they're old enough that they understand. They see that like our goal is to keep our family together in the sense of like, we need to be there for the kids. We need to be there for each other. It's better for us to be separated and friends rather than together and fighting and all over. It's just, it's just a better, it's a better thing for everybody. Um, and it's frustrating because I have filmed so much over the last couple of weeks because I've really been wanting to get in, getting, get back into filming. I can't speak. But it's been hard because I've been having to hide this and I've not been able to tell anybody or like really put it out there. So last night, Anthony and I, we kind of, we had a heart to heart and we decided that I'm already staying here. I have a good portion of my stuff moved into this house. I'll show you the room that I'm staying in. That's actually like what I'm doing today is I'm basically cleaning my new room. Um, but yeah, we just, we just decided that it was time to tell our families, it was time to tell our friends, and we posted on Facebook last night, we messaged some family members so that they weren't kind of derailed by the whole information. Because like I said, we've been together forever, we don't really let people into our private lives, so they didn't really know that there were things going on that needed to be addressed, which have led to our separation. Um, so I think some people were surprised uh, by some of the responses. Um, 
nobody was mean everybody's been really supportive which is kind of surprising and scary because i was expecting some backlash but so we announced it last night and now i feel like i can be like authentic and open and true and that's one of the reasons why i couldn't really film because i felt like i was like unable to tell and explain like i'll explain her in a second you guys hold on that's a whole different story but so um it was hard to film because I really pride myself on being honest and open and authentic and it's hard to do that when you're hiding such a huge part of your life such as the fact like hey I no longer live at home with my husband and my kids that I moved out and I now live with a friend and that we're separated and heading toward divorce but <laughs> that's where we are and now we have informed people so it's no longer a surprise and yeah, now I feel like I can get back to being creative, I can get back to filming, and I can be true and authentic, open, and full self-disclosure and everything, or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, that's the point that I'm at. And I mean, obviously I'm not telling anybody everything. And a lot of my life is very private and it's nobody's business. And I'm not gonna get into why Anthony and I are separating. Um, we're not enemies, we're not blaming each other, we're not fighting about it. We were, <laughs> it's been a hard transition, but our goal is to be together and be friends and be there for the kids. So we're choosing the high road. This is a learning process. It's a very hard learning process because there's a lot of things that are very unfamiliar, very challenging. So that's probably like the big, major update and like I said everybody's being really cool about the fact that we're separated and no longer living together which is good it's a relief it's a relief to have it out there because now it's like it's not only like I was like hiding and being inaccurate about my life when I was trying to film but it was like I would see people and they're like oh hey how are you and I'm I'm such an open person you know I tell people oh I'm not good or you know I'm struggling today or I don't know it's just such a relief to be able to be open, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a liar. I'm not a fake person. And I really did feel fake for a really long time. And it's just, it's a relief. And the kids are doing great. They started school. So that's something that happened, which is kind of crazy with this whole COVID pandemic thing. School is completely different than what it once was. I need to go grab a shoebox. I'll be right back. It's just been weird with the pandemic and them going to school. They have to wear the masks. They have to like still do the social isolation thing. I mean, I'm sure all schools across the country are doing the same exact thing. It's just, it's bizarre. It's so different. So many different rules. And like, so Soraya started marching band this year. But they're not marching. Like they're marching for like I think we have like two football games they're marching. I think there's a couple of special, like made up events that they've done for them to march. Um but really they're not competing and that kind of sucks because that's what I loved was watching the kids compete when they would go march. But yeah, they're not um competing. Ezra is in band now. He's playing trombone. Saray is still playing a clarinet. We actually just bought them new instruments uh, blah, 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 blah. two weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's... Ezra's playing baseball again. He just had a game night before last, unfortunately. They lost. And, ooh, my back is really bruised. I don't know what I did because it's like I have a, I have a bruise like right here and it hurts really bad. And like you can actually feel how swollen it is. But now like... Along my spine, there's a bruise, too. I don't know what I did. Apparently, I am really rough when I sleep. Uh, I should probably talk to you while I go somewhere else and clean. I'm not really good with story time slash life updates slash cleaning videos because I just end up focusing on the camera and not actually getting anything done. All right, I'm going to leave these shoes here, and we're going to go move to the bedroom because I need to clean in there before I can necessarily move my shoes in there. And honestly really don't know what I'm doing with my shoes because I haven't figured that out yet. So let me move you. All right, so I guess I can show you exactly where I'm staying. Like I said, I'm staying with my friend Andy. Um, he's a coworker of mine and he's definitely become a best friend of mine. Over the last couple of months, he's been incredibly supportive and nice and kind, especially since, he's, especially since he's given me a place to stay, which 
I am forever grateful for. I was talking about something that I forgot. Oh, I was talking about the new dog. I'll talk about her in a second. So let me show you kind of where I'm staying. But yeah, so we just got a kitchen. Back there's his bedroom. There's a, I don't know, decent amount of space. And so my bedroom that I'm staying in is back here. And it is just absolutely trashed right now. It is a shit show. And so today I basically need to deal with all of this, all of that, <laughs> that, and obviously all of that. But I do have a nice mirror. Hello, how are you? But so that's what's going on. And that's what you guys are going to be here along for the ride for. I will explain who this little monster is. So this is Ziggy. Can you say hi, Ziggy? Ziggy, Ziggy. Hi, babies. Hi, pretty girl. She is a Chewini. She is four months old. And we got her during the pandemic. The reason we got her was because Andy wanted a dog and so we got her and then we just kind of had like shared custody of her, I suppose. Um, she went between my house, mine and Anthony's house and Andy's house. And so sometimes we would have her on the weekends, sometimes he would have her on the weekends. Now she's more predominantly here because there's no one really at Anthony's house to watch her when he's at work and the kids are at school and she is definitely not a dog to be left alone. Um, exhibit A, the fact that she chews on everything she can find, including people because she is part piranha. But she is just as sweet as little puppy ever. We got her, she had a really rough start. I've got some clips I'm gonna show you. I'll insert some pictures because she is so photogenic and sweet and beautiful. But um, yeah, I'll insert some, some clips and some stuff here real fast. But yeah, we love her. She's adorable. She's cute. She likes to eat sticks. She also likes to eat poop. She also likes to eat people's faces. She just likes to eat things. She really doesn't care. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hello to the people. No? She also really likes phones. Like she gets that like it's not the person, but she loves to like talk into the phone. Right? Her favorite thing to do besides chew on people is play outside and run away from people and make them chase her because she can be a little bit of a bitch sometimes. She is a pain in the ass. Actually, what I need to do first is finish the laundry that I started. Um, so I guess I'm gonna prop you guys. Where am I gonna prop you guys? I don't know. I can put you right here. Ow! But, so yeah, so like things have changed, obviously. Oh look, you can see his pile of dirty laundry, which I'm not washing because I'm not in that kind of relationship. There's not much space right here. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna fall and kill myself. I washed these clothes already once and then I realized as I was putting them into the dryer, part of them into the dryer, because I only dry a small portion of my clothes, I realized that I forgot to put fabric softener in it and I really didn't want to have crunchy clothes. Is that maybe better? Maybe that's better. You guys look, these are the cutest underwear ever. And of course I grabbed the thong. They're fruit salad. Isn't that so cute? I'm so sad that Victoria's Secret is closed. I don't know if all Victoria's Secrets are closed. I'm pretty sure you can still order stuff online, but our Victoria's Secret is definitely closed. And I believe the one in the fashion mall closed as well. So I don't know where I'm gonna go to get panties because they have the most comfortable, cheeky, and thong, um, what should I call it? Seamless underwear. So I'm definitely gonna have to find a new place to get like really nice underwear. I sincerely hate doing laundry and I really hate touching wet clothes. I had a pair of black gloves, but I don't know what I did with them. And yeah, I don't know. I just hate touching wet clothes. You know what, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll just, we'll catch up later. Okay, so the laundry is done and um, yeah, so now I'm gonna start in the bedroom, which I will show you my situation. This is what I have going on. That is all of my clothes that need to go in these drawers. This dresser, this dresser is the dresser I had when I first got my very first apartment and I, Gavin was a baby, he lived with me, it was just him and I, I was a single mom, and this dresser was given to me. Then it was given to Gavin, and as you can see, over the years, that middle drawer has been broken. So I have a missing drawer, Andy's gonna take out that centerpiece, he's gonna put a board so that I can like put my jeans and stuff there, but all of that needs to go into this crappy dresser, 
and it kind of sucks because I have another dresser that I'm coming that I'm going to switch the two of them out. So that's the first thing that I'm going to work on. The second thing is, so this is my vanity. You guys, this is the most badass vanity. I am so in love with it. I'm so happy. The vanity itself came from Treasure Mart. And then Andy made these lights for me. It's a mirror that he got from Kohl's. I don't know what he did to get like the, um, the pressed cardboard thing in the back. But then he made those lights. I mean, he didn't make the lights, but he ended up like wiring them all together and everything for me, which I am really appreciative. Let me show you. Oh, and then he also mounted that on the wall. So I have like my phone cord, I have a cord for my rechargeable chargeable, uh, mirror. And then, yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is my vanity. You guys, this is so freaking awesome. I'm so thrilled. So I also have to organize my makeup. This thing is supposed to hold like my eyeshadow palettes that I brought and everything else. This drawer here is where I just kind of have like stuff thrown into it that I need to organize. My makeup brushes, I'm like out of breath. And then this is like my face palettes and lipsticks and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't have all of my makeup here. I am still going back and forth to Anthony's and staying some nights with him. Not really with him, but just with the family, especially so that I can like spend time with the kids. Obviously, this place isn't big enough to have the kids here long term. And the goal is that I have them predominantly uh, most of the time and everything. Um, so I'm here until I get my own place. And gosh, that's a whole story. Let me set up my ring light and get my clothes on here so I can kind of fold them and organize them and I will tell you about that. I have a lot of shit. And seriously, I have so much more stuff still at Anthony's house and there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to even bring half of it here. I could literally fill this house and still not have enough room. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, the goal is that I end up with the kids like the majority of the time and that they essentially live with me, especially, I don't know, with Anthony's work schedule and everything. Uh, but we're going to give them the option to where they can kind of be at whatever house that they want because the goal was that I was going to move into an apartment complex that was right around the corner from where Anthony lives, uh, which is where we live together. And then that way like they could come over and have dinner with one of us if, even if they wanted to like stay the night with the other one of us and we just weren't going to put restraints on them we weren't going to tell them they couldn't be around um the other person we don't want the kids to feel like they have to make a choice because i see a lot of people who have had divorces and whatever and the kids end up getting stuck in the middle this is dirty but they get stuck in the middle and they end up having to choose one parent over the other. And we do not want to do that. He is, uh, he's gonna let me have the kids full time and then the kids can kind of bounce around whenever. That way we'll be in the same school district and they can kind of, they can ride the bus and get off at my house. They can ride the bus and get off at Anthony's house. And we plan on still like having family dinners like once a week and things like that. And like I said, I'm going over there and I'm staying uh, about once a week. And I think that's really helping the kids with this transition because they're seeing that neither of us are abandoning the other one. So it's really hard because I'm really nervous that... Mm. I'm really scared that they're not going to remember like how much I love them. I don't want them to be caught up in the middle of this and think that this is their fault, this is because of them. I feel like I'm just scattered and all I'm doing is talking all over the place because that's my brain. Hello, ADHD. How you doing? Ah, I really need somebody. That's a skirt. I really need somebody to come to my house. My house. This isn't my house. I need somebody to come to my quarters and help me decorate this area because I'm allowed to paint, which I'm definitely going to do. I think my color scheme is going to be like light gray, dark gray, white, and like a dusty mauve pink. Um, which that kind of is what these, uh, walls already are is, is like the light gray, the dark gray and the white, but I don't, I don't want it to look like this. I'm going to change it. So this is all going to be painted. Andy's daughter used to have this room. This is where she lived with her boyfriend. So 
they just recently moved and honestly it was perfect timing because almost as soon as they moved out was when I needed a place to stay and so it worked out that this room was empty and I was staying in the living room but got a futon and that gives me a place to stay then I've got the, the vanity set up all right my camera overheated but I'm back uh I forgot what I was saying surprise surprise this is just going to be a bunch of fragmented thoughts I'm hoping I finish some sort of idea so that you have some kind of understanding of what's going on but we'll see anyway I think what I was talking about this was Courtney's room they had had it painted this way it definitely needs the walls need to be like scrubbed I mean people live here you know people live places and like there's fingerprints and handprints and stuff and there's like areas where they had like the TV mounted so like I need to get some of that filler stuff and fill that and then I want to paint everything and make it look really nice. I think I'm going to go more solid walls and then I'm going to have like one wall that's got like, I want to do chevron. I would love to do chevron. I just don't know how to do that. So I may have to watch some videos to do that. Then this carpet, it's, it's definitely stained. Um, it's been through a lot, but Andy thinks it's like the original carpet that was here when he first moved in. And so there's been like a lot of different people who've been in, in and out of staying in this room because Andy's a really generous person and lets people move in when they need somewhere to stay. And I'm really thankful that he is my friend. But so the goal is to eventually put in hardwood floors. But I'm going to be honest. And I hope that I'm not here like that long. Because I really want to get my own place. And I really want my own independence. I kind of want to feel like that living on my own. Providing for myself. Single lifestyle. Like prove it to myself that I can do it. That I'm not this piece of crap person who just sucks people dry. <laughs> takes all their energy um it'll happen eventually hopefully we'll see I don't know we went apartment looking yesterday Anthony and I and gosh I'm so disappointed the one place that we looked for oh that's what I was saying we the goal was that I was going to move into this place that was right around the corner from where Anthony lives it didn't make any freaking sense so we go in there and this guy's like, oh yeah, you know, we're income based, which let's be real. That's what I'm going to need is something that's going to work with my income because freaking broke. All right. I don't have any money. <laughs> all I, ha all I have is, um, what I make from Kohl's and it's not very much, but, uh, yeah. Uh, during quarantine, I had to buy a new car back in March. I think it was like the second week of quarantine or right in the, the end of the first week. And so I had to buy a new car. So I have a car payment now that I have to pay a hundred dollars a week. And, um, so that is definitely a hit on my income. Also I'm in school. So did I ever announce that? I don't think I ever announced that. I signed up for, um, honestly, I haven't announced it because I haven't filmed since December. I haven't posted a film or video since, uh, December. But yeah, so I signed up for school. I'm going to hopefully be a certified makeup artist very, very soon. But so yeah, I've got school fees each month, which is, I think it's like one, one thirty ish right now because I'm only signed up for three classes. Uh, but so that's a hit on my income. And then obviously look how cute this bathing suit is. I haven't gone swimming yet this summer at all and I'm kind of bummed about it, but this does not need to go in a drawer that can go in a closet so we went to this apartment complex and it was so cute it's a little teeny tiny apartment three bedroom like I would have my own bathroom the kids would have their own bathroom there's like a laundry room living room dining room like your standard like essential space not very large at all so it would be really easy to keep clean and organized and the kids would have enough space because now that we don't have Gavin Ezra doesn't have to share a room he gets his own room and like it was just it, it was perfect space um and on the website it talked about how they work with people's income to make it more affor affordable and it's like perfect and they like give you the qualifications for like the different uh incomes and stuff like that and so i was like okay so it's, it's income based so whatever i make like they'll figure out like what my rent would be for each month so I go and the guy's like, oh no, we're not, we're sort of like income based, but we do something called a gift note. And he's talking and talking and talking. And I, and I keep trying to ask him to define what he means by a gift note. Like what the, what the hell is a gift note? And he's, he finally like defines it for me. A gift note is basically like 
the rent each month is $740, which I know probably doesn't sound like a lot, especially, you know, for people who live in other areas than Kokomo, Indiana. But so it'd be like $740. It's out of my price range, because if I paid $740 plus my $400 for my car, plus, like, I don't, I wouldn't have an income. I wouldn't have any money left over to pay any of my other bills or to eat or to provide for the kids at all. So it's out of my price range. And he's like, so what happens is you figure out what you can pay and then you go get a gift note from a friend, a church, somewhere else, and they just commit to paying whatever portion of the rent that you can't pay. And I'm like, so basically I need a sure daddy who's gonna say, oh yeah, you know, like you pay 400 a month and I'll give you 340 a month and we'll call it even. I'm like, how is that? How are you doing me a favor? And don't all, all apartment complex like not care where the money comes from as long as they get it? So I don't, I don't really understand exactly what he was saying, but it was really freaking frustrating because none of it made sense. I mean, it was really frustrating. That can hang. To end this very long, unnecessary story, basically the place that I really wanted to go and stay at that would have been ideal for Anthony and I to be close enough for the kids to still like be around each other and not have to feel like they're choosing one over the other. Yeah, it's not gonna work out unless somebody wants to pay like $400 of my rent each month. So, I mean, if you would be down for paying $400 of my rent each month, I will definitely send you my Venmo information or you can do PayPal. Um, you can just give me cash. I don't care, I'm not gonna be picky. But yeah, if anybody wants to pay at least half my rent each month, that'd be great. So just, yeah, comment down below. Leave your email down below. I'll, e I'll email you my, my PayPal information. That's just so freaking ridiculous. Like, who does that? Who has somebody that they can just be like, hey, so listen, I can't make rent um, for the place that I want to live. And... I'm pretty sure you have the income that can. So like, what if I live there, pay what I can, and you just pay the rest? And they're gonna be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that works, that's perfect, sign me up. No, that's not how it works. Either, either that, maybe it is how it works, and I just don't have those kind of friends, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not without options, and I'm not fully without hope entirely. This is a change. It's a big change. It's a hard change. It is not easy, you guys. Not at all. Not at all. Separation, divorce, custody of kids, moving, going from married, single. Mm. Being essentially homeless. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off. I will talk to you guys later. I guess I can turn this off because I don't need it right now. Unplug it so I don't start a fire. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the room tour. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it could obviously, honestly, be a little bit better, but I think under the circumstances and with the time frame that I've had, I'm pleased, I'm okay, I'm happy. This is a place that I can stay. And I'm really excited because the kids are going to come back tonight and they're gonna see the room. Ezra has never been in Andy's house, nor has he obviously seen my bedroom then. Um, and now that it's finished, I can kinda show the kids like my living situation and what they can look forward to because they're gonna come stay Saturday night, I believe, uh, with me. So here is my futon. I'm very happy with it. Honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this. It says coffee and mascara. I think it's super cute. Andy actually bought it for me to put in my bedroom, but I don't know that that's actually what I'm doing with it. I just don't have anywhere else to put it, so I thought it looked cute, but that's the blanket that I'm going to use. There's the Ziggy. Hello. But then under there, ah! <laughs> Stop! You're so mean! Under there is where I put all of my shoes, which is absolutely fantastic. Why do I have a grid on this? How do I change this? I don't know. There's my ring light. I'm obviously not using it right now. My vanity, which I'll get a little bit closer and show you that. There's my dresser. Uh, all my clothes are in it. They all fit in, so I'm very, very, very happy about that. Then on top, I just have some random stuff. I have my earrings. I have this book that I keep intending to read that I never do read. My sunflower. That glass is actually for Soraya, my perfumes, and this little rose thing. There's my mirror. I think that I like it right here. It's kind of in the corner. I don't know. I think that's where I'm going to keep it. I'm out of breath. There's my closet. 
Yep, I've already shown you guys my closet. There are some more of my shoes and then just the bags that I've been using to carry some of my stuff back and forth. So those are just kind of hanging out there. And there is Zig doing <laughs> the things that Zig does. Right, Ziggy? Get it. Get it. Get that tail. Get that tail. Get it. Get that tail. I know. I know. Okay, so let me show you guys my vanity because I'm really excited about this. First, I'll show you this. Um, yeah, it's like this is what we're showing them. So it's all my hair stuff and shower stuff and like body care stuff. So lotions, shampoos, conditioners. Um, yeah, just that kind of stuff. Everything here is skincare related. Um, and this is like my current skincare that I'm using or stuff that I'm trying to use up. This is all like my backups and things like that. Or like that's like some of my tools that I use. One of those uh, pore sucker things. I forget what they're called. So that's my skincare, my crystal rollers, all that jazz. Then I have all of my eyeshadow palettes that I brought with me here. I think I counted like 54. So not quite half of my collection. I still have like 50, 60, 70 some um, back at Anthony's house. And it's kind of frustrating me because at home I had them separated by brand and by size and by price point. So like I had like my low end or like not low end, but like, um, drugstore or less expensive brands than I had like my higher end brands and so on. I don't know. But so yeah, I mean, I've got my Morphe palettes, my Anastasia palettes, and then like random palettes. Um, yeah, my conspiracy palettes back there, which I know nobody's talking about right now, which is totally fine with me. My Juvia's Place, Urban Decay's, whatever. My pure uh, troll palettes. I am out of breath, seriously. I'm going to sit because I've been working really hard today. This is wild with having two faces. Hello. <laughs> so my makeup brushes, I've got like my face brushes, but then like these are all my contour brushes, my eye brushes. Then I have this, I wanna put a picture of the kids in that. This is my mirror. You guys, this is the coolest mirror ever. I'll have to go into detail sometime about it. I've got my headbands, I've got my citrine crystal, which I'm gonna bring all my crystals over here. And then, Makeup sponges, then over here, I tried to kind of organize it. I've got like my foundations, primers, sprays, and some more sprays, some more primers. Then this little thing is what is holding my jewelry and it of course does not want to focus. I've got some sort of setting on my camera. I don't want to mess it up since I'm filming, but it's like, there's like a weird grid. So I think it's messing up my focus. Oh, paper towels because I'm a messy makeup person. This is all my like face palettes, contour, or not contour, um, blushes, bronzers, and individual highlights that I've brought with me. My Game of Thrones palette, my makeup wipes, and then these are, yeah, all my face palettes that I have. So highlights, uh, these are full face palettes. I don't think I have any actual blush palettes, but, and then I've got like, this is like a contour and highlight palette. Then underneath this, so this raises up and um, touch autofocus canceled. I'm so confused. How do I turn off the grid? Hold on, be right back. Okay, I think I got rid of the grid and I think I changed the auto settings so that, um, or the autofocus settings so that it won't like be super funky again. Anyway, last drawer and then honestly, I'm done. So this is just basically like my random, like a foundation that I'm really trying to use up, which I'm not even wearing foundation now. Contour stick, my brushes, brushes, no, my powders, mascaras, eyeliner. Like this is just kind of like everything that isn't necessarily like a face powder product or like one of those products i guess it's just a random drawer of makeup products that i use on a daily basis so like my brow stuff my powders um mascaras uh all that kind of stuff so yeah and that's my vanity and to be honest i think that i am done telling you guys what is going on i don't really have anything else to show you so that's what i've been working on today and i I don't know, man. This is a stressful situation. I'm just really thankful that I am in a situation where I have somewhere to go and I'm not stranded on the streets because that would really suck. Although, I mean, Anthony would not let me just be stranded on the streets. I get it. This is a mutual decision. He wouldn't just leave me high and dry. He's a good person. I'm not, I'm not separated from him because he's a bad person, okay? Just, you know, life happens. But... All right, you guys. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and I mean, I don't know. Do you guys have any kind of tips or ideas for 
any of the crap that I'm going through, feel free to leave it down below. I appreciate the support. I really do. I know that this is probably kind of like out of the blue and <laughs> maybe shocking to some of you who have known us for years upon years, but it happens and we have to make the best of it. We have to put the kids first. Um, we have to put our mental health and our self care first as well. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of taking everything as it comes and hoping for the best and trying to control what I can and trying to positively deal with what I cannot control. So yeah. All right. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, have a great night. Stay healthy and wear your freaking masks when you go to the stores. Stop being a pain in the ass to retailers if um, you don't want to wear it. Okay. All right. See you guys later. Bye.